Fitness Industry Lies Part 9. The only working out that counts is the working out that happens in a gym. And this is total BS. Your time out playing in the mountains or your time just doing activities of everyday life are going to make you fitter if you know that they are. Now, this is the cool part. Uh, there is a study that I'm going to link to below, but what they did is they took two groups of housekeepers and they tested them both, just like baseline strength tests. Then they told one group about all the benefits that happen from them doing their regular housekeeping job. The fact that they're squatting down to pick up a mattress or the fact that they're lifting and carrying and that these things can help them get stronger over time. The other group, they didn't tell anything to. They came back later and they retested both groups and the group that knew about the benefits of their everyday living were stronger. They improved on those tests of strength compared to the group who didn't change at all and wasn't told about the benefits of their activities of everyday life. So what does this mean? It means you need to give yourself credit for the movements that you do throughout your day, whether that's carrying groceries or your kids or lifting, I don't know, the couch to clean underneath it, whatever it is that you are doing throughout the day, give yourself credit for it. This will do two things. A, it will mean that those actions actually lead to more strength in your muscles, which is wild. And B, it's gonna get you on a positive mindset treadmill circle, positive circle of knowing that you are a fit and active person and you have the ability to express that through lots of different body movements.